Good evening, this is Ancient Albatross with WMCG News. With us we have expert of GM analysis, Alpha Dean RPG. Get ready to use some effort. And also with us we have our uh, on-site meteorologist, Spigs. Oh man, holy cow, it's raining Kickstarter fulfillments out here and the dice are extra hot! <laughs> and this week we're going to talk about Monty Cook Game News. Yo, it's your boy Ancient Albatross here again with the Cypher Limited crew. We got the usual suspects of AD or Alpha Dean or just simply Dean. We also have Spigs18 or Anthony. And uh, Anthony, got some exciting stuff going on, huh? Yeah, most definitely. Um, we're working on some, you know, really important videos coming up, but uh, we, we decided to take a little break because for some reason this week has been chock full with MCG news. So we figured we'll do a quick little episode to go over everything that's gone on this week, and we'll let Dean uh, set us off. He's going to hit us up with all the main topics. All right. Well, off the bus, guys, uh, huge news. Liminal Shores is creeping up. Woo they filled uh, a couple of stretch goals within, like, the last few hours or in the last 20 hours, so that, that stretch is going. Um, and for those out there who don't know about Liminal Shores, it's five books. Uh, what else, guys? There's, I know there's five books. You get in. the stand. Oh, I mean, if you buy, it, get. Oh, excuse me. If you back at the everything, you'll want it all onto the liminal shores. I believe it's called the the level. Um, you uh, on top of all those books. Um, we can name the books, but there's a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> you also get standees, which are cool. They're like little figures, little cardboard figures. You put them on stand. They're like little minis. That's really nice to have on hand, and they're, they're not as big as regular minis, so you could take them anywhere basically. Um, you get character portfolios, very nice looking colors, nice color scheme if you want to check it out. We'll have links to the Kickstarter down below. Um, and also, um, I believe they were adding, oh, the EXP deck, which looks gorgeous. Yeah, I, I think that EXP deck, you know, I, I, I noticed that people were saying earlier today that um, they didn't need a new XP deck. But have you looked at that deck? That thing is awesome. I want like two sets of those <laughs> EXP cards now. And don't forget, too, guys, there's also going to be a short novella in PDF form, uh, Yesterday's Whispers. Yes. So some more fiction in the realm of Numenera, you know, the ninth world, getting getting its love. Real quick, let's go over the books real quick, just so yes. everybody can kind of get an idea. Um, Liminal Shores basically is going to take place. you got Voices of the Data Sphere, which basically is that wonderful idea that they came up with for Numenera the data sphere you know now you're kind of linked in and just expands on that whole concept uh yeah it, it sort of reminds me of the tron universe you know yeah. like uh yeah yeah, yeah the master controller and all of that kind of stuff so you know that's going to open up a whole lot of possibilities and ideas um liminal shores is the i guess you can say the new uh settlement or you know, the unknown place. And uh, I guess they're going to be highly advanced and everything else. So that's going to bring to the table, you know, new races for you to play. and Yeah, um, a ton of new creatures. New uh, creatures I think I, I believe it's going to have like two or three adventures in there. That's going to be yeah. a very interesting I think book. they said something about Folk Eye and everything else mm -hmm. for that particular book. Um, Edge of the Sun is another one that's going to be probably a big deal because it's all about how or whatever technology, whatever ancient race basically kept the sun from, you know, expanding and destroying everything. So that's what that's all about. That's a whole nother level of, you know, adventuring and depending on how you want to build it. Um, Vertices is, I believe, a collection of um, adventures. You know, kind of in the same vein as like, uh, what are the other ones, uh, Anthony? Um, oh, oh, the what are you talking about? The instant adventure books? Yes. Yeah, those are awesome. It it's it is an adventure book. Oh no, I'm looking at Break the Horizon. Break the Horizon is the vehicles. Um, it's right. like the vehicles and equipment book, which is I think desperately needed for Numenera. We haven't had a equipment book in a while, so I, I'm really excited to see that. Right. So, 
massive Kickstarter doing well. Um, we've got about 20 hours left to go guys out there, you know, so if you watch this video tomorrow or whatever, you know, or today, or whenever you get to it, um, you should still have a few hours left your, you know, to go ahead and back it. Um, and you, um, you currently up, you know, like we like to break down the math for you. Um, you currently up at five books at $60 a pop plus the additional, the standups and the XP deck. If you back it at the everything level, you're about two hundred and twenty dollars up right now. Yeah, it's, so it's oh, well, it's well worth it. Yeah, it's, I mean that that goes for every of their kickstarters. That that mm. I want it all level, or you know, it's called mm. onto the liminal shore in this one. Uh, it's always well, well more than what you pay for it. <laughs> like you get so yeah. much stuff, and this is no exception. And those little extras are very nice. Like the the art is fantastic on the stands and the XP deck and the character portfolio is cool. I love that color scheme, that purple like I don't know pastelly yeah. like bluish like fade like it's so nice. Yeah. Um. But yeah. I think did we mention the character portfolios as well? Yeah, he was just talking about them. Isn't mm. that what I just? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what you were talking about the character portfolios. Yeah. Oh. Just, yeah. I mean, was I was I wrong? Like. <laughs> No, it's awesome. No, I, I, I just want to say that that was an additional, you know, that's another cool thing that you get with this Kickstarter. You up, you know, for $185, you're getting about $300 something dollars worth of books. And it's not over yet, guys. There's still more, you know, if, if we hit. What, yeah, what's you know, the next stretch number, I think? The next uh, stretch goal they need. I don't they, even they know hit? if they've listed it yet. Uh, 340. And they're currently at. They're close. 322. 322. So yeah, three four at three forty, they're gonna upgrade. Uh, they're gonna upgrade the next book, Edge of the Sun. So there's gonna be more pages into that, which, once again, you can never go wrong with. Um, but so that's the latest. Um, the big thing going on with Monty Cook Games, as far as this Kickstarter is concerned, and also today, we got what basically was a chapter that was going to be in the Stay Alive book, but they realized that it, it it actually was just supposed to be a section and not a chapter, and they realized it had turned into its own thing. So Monty Cook Games released it for free to all of us today, uh, Consent and Gaming, which I think is pretty awesome. Um, this was basically happened because the Stay Alive book that Sean K. Reynolds is writing right now deals with horror themes, and horror can become I guess you can, it's, it's can become touchy. And they basically, you know, put this PDF out today, which goes over a lot of the parameters to how you would want to build that at your table. I mean, I know we've talked about it in the past, but you know, you've got so much that goes on in horror from psychological horror to body horror to, you know, um, you know, gore and things like that. So, this deals with that and how you go about, you know, uh, determining what you want at your table. Not only that, I, I think it touches a subject that some people, I, won't, I don't want to say taboo, but some people don't want to talk about <coughs> the sa safety tools in gaming. You know, gaming is meant to be as welcoming to everyone as it possibly can. And sometimes we lose fact, you know, we lose sight of that fact and I think this is a conversation that needs to happen. You know, like people should feel comfortable at the gaming table and the, the more people that actually talk about it and provide us with safety tools to ensure that everyone's comfortable at the gaming table, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, then it's, <clears throat> if you ever like felt at some point, I'm positive, well, most people have, if you've played with strangers at some point, you felt a little uncomfortable, whatever, I mean, didn't really know how to broach the topic, this is a good way to help you ease into that. It gives you ideas on, you know, what to say or, you know, uh, the mindset of certain things. But again, if, if you are nervous about that sort of thing, this is a very excellent tool. Yeah, I mean, it really is. It's a great tool. I'm, I mean, for all the years that I've been gaming, um, I can honestly say that looking through the PDF, which I haven't read from cover to cover yet, but just looking through it, there were a lot of things that I remember, you know, dealing with people who weren't my, you know, normal group to play with, you know, when I was in the military or was in college or things like that, where you meet people who are, um, you know, they do things different. 
so yeah it really does you know touch on those things so pick it up it's free yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing <laughs> free is what's, wonderful. what's next on the list dean oh man also this week kickstarter fulfillment galore you Amen. know that, yeah. as our man in the field was saying <laughs> Kickstarter fulfillments this week. Um, we got It's Raining Cats and Dinosaurs for the No Thank You Evil. We got the Cypher Character Portfolios. We got the Salvage Deck. Um, also, Stars Are Fire uh, just went into print. Yes. So that's going to be coming soon. And the biggest news of the week as far as I'm concerned, and probably as far as we're all too. concerned here, <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to speak for you, but I'm gonna speak. Yeah, the Cipher Rule Book Revised Edition. Woo, woo. Okay, we've been looking at the the review edition of the PDF, and now we have our hands on the hyperlinked version. And some of you out there do as well. So nice. And, uh, I believe everyone got it. Um, yeah. PDF today. Well, not oh, literally so. everyone. Everyone who backed the Kickstarter did. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so if you got it, you're probably drooling and salivating as much as we are. Um, that book is glorious. And now that it's hyperlinked as a PDF, so easy to navigate through, especially those when you're going to be at the gaming table. I don't know about you guys, but I don't know. You know, the only thing that's going to make me happier is when we start getting those, uh, those setting books. <laughs> Well, Stars of Fire went to print, so that's a good sign. Right. That means we should be getting them soon. Yeah. I'm excited for that as well. I'm yeah. excited for all the new yeah, setting all books. Yeah, all the books. setting books. I mean, I'm particularly excited about Stay Alive, but um, they're they're all, um, oh, I cannot wait. <laughs> you know, I think each of them hold a very special place because they, there's just ideas. I, they kind of all touch on things that we've looked for or, or enjoyed about Cypher System in general. So Stars Are Fire expanding upon the whole sci-fi aspect. When you think about the fact that we have, you know, hard science fiction and uh, expanded worlds and sci-fi. So now we have a book that expands that really. Oh, man, that's 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 like super cool. <laughs> you know, stay alive for horror, you know. Oh. We would definitely got a lot of nice goodies coming our way. Yeah. I mean, we got we already got a bunch of nice goodies today. Yeah, and we got yeah, a yeah. bunch more on the way. Um, and, and, um, I, I guess we could tell our original idea was to start our review process of the Cypher Core book today. But when we started to sit down and discuss it, we realized that we weren't we weren't going to fully give it the justice that it deserves without, you know, so now we decided we're going to break it down into the important chapters. Yeah, so we're going to we, we're going to break the, the review of the book down, I guess, into three or four parts. And when we're going to, and in those three or four parts, we're going to hit um, the major points, the chapters about create character creation and the updates to that, you know, foci and descriptors and things like that. We're also going to hit on rules of the game and how to deal out, like with deal with experience points and stuff like that. Mechanics, mechanics. We, you know, we, and, we, also, and we also break down what we like and dislike. Um, from the core book and compare and contrast the revised edition with the older edition. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we could tell you exactly what's new in this new book and whether um, we dig it or not. Yeah, and we're also going to talk about, we're going to take a whole part, a whole inner, a whole uh, editorial night and talk about the genres because the book now is chock full. It has nine genres in it now as opposed to five or six. Yeah. And, um, go ahead. And um, you're saying now? No, no, no. Just that, uh, you know, you guys were going off, but like, I, I was a little hesitant to jump in and talk because I'm just like, there's just too much to talk about. Like, like there's just so much going on with the revised edition. Like they just streamlined so many things, added so many nice little advice pieces and little tweaks here and there to certain things. And it is just so outrageously good. That, again, like, when I first got it, like when we got our review one, I was like, oh, this is awesome. Now that we have the final one that's all hyperlinked, and it's like, oh, my God, like, it's such a good tool right now. Like, and again, we'll get more into that in more in-depth when we release our review videos as we do them. Um, 
But yeah, well, there's there's just so much to talk about. <laughs> and the only thing I'm going to touch on now, we're going to touch. We're, you're going to hear a lot about it, but oh my goodness, the layout, the layout, the layout, the layout. I'm spoiled. If a book isn't laid out with this kind of thought process, you know, I don't want them anymore. <laughs> it's freaking amazing. It is. Oh man. Just just the ease of how everything... Uh, it's just so hard to explain what I'm yeah, going yeah, to super yeah. into detail. <laughs> it's just so good. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely something to look forward from us because it will... Um, you know, we will go more in depth on these things. And again, there's just so much, so much to talk about. <laughs> and if, if, if you guys that are listening, you know, you want us to talk about specific aspects of the book or uh, explanations of certain rules... Don't hesitate to put it in the um, comment section down below. You want us to create, perhaps you, you want us to create a character from scratch using the new revised book. We, we could do that as well. Maybe go a little in depth on uh, ideas behind the settings. You know, right. wh whatever whatever you're thinking about. Whatever you're thinking about. I mean, because there, there's, so th there's so many things that we can do with this. Um, so many. <laughs> with, with the setting. It, it is, it's, you know, we were talking today on uh, Discord and we were talking about, you know, different games and people were saying that, you know, oh, you know, we can't do this or you can't do that with every, every setting or with every system. And I actually, you know, realized that with Cypher system, I can do any and everything I want. Literally because, anything. <laughs> because, and I think it's the approach. I think it's the thought process behind it. I'm not trying to recreate the wheel. I'm not trying to do one for one, you know, uh, conversions or anything like that. Cypher system allows me to tell a story with the feeling, the evocative nature of whatever it is I've encountered. So like watching a movie, movies inspire me to want to run games, but the reason why is because they evoke something in me. And I'm looking forward to being able to do all these wonderful things with the new Cypher system and, and the new expanded books. Because, like I said, we just watched It. And It Chapter 2 was great. <laughs> it was just... I mean, so oh, wait, awesome. so are, are, you, are you saying that you're going to run an It game for Halloween? Yes. Yes. That's what I'm saying. You That's something else to look forward to, guys, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> But um yeah, a lot of a lot of cool stuff happening with the Cypher Core book, um the kind of revised Cypher Core book. I'm just book. laughing because before we started recording, Dean was like, Oh, we can record um the whole like first chapter in one sitting and Dean just went from talking about what's going on to it to <laughs> <laughs> how we <emotion. laughs> But oh uh, yeah, before we get even more sidetracked. <laughs> Any final thoughts before we close out this video? I think we've pretty much touched on all the exciting news coming up um, without getting too in-depth on the cyber <laughs> as much as we want to. And we don't know how much we want to talk about this. We want to talk about it so much we had to decide to not talk about it right, so yeah. we can talk about it more later. Exactly. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's what's going on with us right now and Mont Montico Games in general. Any, any final thoughts, fellas? I mean, I just apologize for the short video, but like I said, we want to make sure we give you the best review possible of the Cypher Core book because it's worth it. And trust me, it'll be worth it when you see the videos next week. Dean? All right, people. Talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> after, after Anthony calls him out, he just stops with the, like, he's like, I'm just going to stop talking. Like, all right, guys, yeah. bye. <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> He was going to be like, and in the sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, guys, this has been a blast of a little, you know, rundown of what's going on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, be sure to like, share, subscribe. Mm -hmm. Hit the little notification bell down below to get notified as to when we post videos. And we'll be sure to have links to all the things we discussed, such as the uh, Consent in Gaming, the Liminal Shores Kickstarter, all that good stuff. Uh, so, yeah, from us at the CU, we will see you later. Nice.